Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of English in Practice. It's Karim with you, your English teacher. Today we'll look at six words that are mispronounced by English learners, including some advanced learners, so keep watching. As an English teacher, I've heard students of different levels mispronounce words in English. But don't worry, this is usual and normal for English learners, especially those who learn from books rather than any auditory sources, like movies, for example. Now, it happened to me. When I learned words, I was younger, of course, I didn't have access to the internet, which means I could not or I didn't manage to learn the correct pronunciation of each word. It was difficult for me to learn the correct pronunciation because I wasn't exposed to English like nowadays everyone is and I didn't have access to the internet as I said. It was difficult for me. So I tried to assume the pronunciation of the words I learned. Now, it is very important to learn the correct pronunciation because this will help you avoid any situations in which the people you're talking to may misunderstand you. It also helps you understand the people you're talking to correctly. Let's begin with the six mispronounced words. The first mispronounced word for today is the word espresso. The word espresso, even if you don't know English, you should be familiar with this word. The word espresso refers to a strong type of coffee that is served without milk. Now, some people pronounce it as espresso, which is wrong. The correct pronunciation is espresso. Let's use it in an example. Would you like an espresso? This question basically means, would you like a cup of espresso? Which again means, or refers to, the strong type of coffee that is served without milk. So from now on, try to say espresso, not espresso. The second mispronounced word for today is the word meme. As you can see, this word can be confusing when it comes to pronouncing it because it's written as M-E-M-E. -E, so some people pronounce it as meme. -y. Now, of course, the correct pronunciation is meme. A meme is basically a picture, a video, an idea, etc. that contains or that is spread very fast on the internet with a, a certain content, with a certain meaning. Usually this meaning is humorous. Let's use it in an example. The video of the dancing cat became a meme. Now this sentence means that there is a video that is spread on the internet very quickly and in this video there is a cat dancing. Now, most of the time such a video could be humorous. It was posted on the internet to make people laugh, to entertain people. The third mispronounced word for today is the word diet. Some people mispronounce this word and say diet. Now, this is a wrong pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is diet. Let's use it in an example. I can't eat bread. I'm on a diet. Now, the word diet here refers to, a, to an eating plan in which or according to which a person eats less food or they're not allowed to eat certain types of food because uh, they want to lose weight or maybe for medical reasons. So basically, this example is telling you that I can't eat bread, which means I'm not allowed to eat bread because of my diet. So pay attention to the difference of pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is diet. The wrong pronunciation is diet. The fourth mispronounced word for today is the word sweet. Now, this word is different from the sweet as an adjective. And it's also different from the word suit, with which people confuse this word. Some people pronounce this word as suit, which is because they confuse it with the word suit. Now, what I am wearing right now is a suit, but a suite is different. Suite is a set of connected rooms, especially in a hotel. Let's use it in an example. 
Would you like a single room or a suite? You may hear such a question from a hotel receptionist asking you whether you want a room for one person or a suite, which is again a set of connected rooms in this hotel. So remember, the correct pronunciation is sweet. The last mispronounced word for today is the word comfortable. This word can be tricky because of its spelling. Because of this spelling, many people, or some people, let me say, pronounce it as comfortable, which is wrong. The correct pronunciation is comfortable. Maybe in some countries or some cities it's comfortable, but it's never comfortable. Let's use it in an example. These shoes are really comfortable. Now, according to this example, I'm basically saying that my shoes are very comfortable, which means they are very comfy. In other words, they don't cause any harm or any physical pain. Before I end this episode, let me tell you that the pronunciations I introduced today are all taken from Cambridge and Oxford dictionaries. You may hear some pronunciations different from these pronunciations that are acceptable in different places, in different cities, in different countries. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much. Stay safe.